Okay, so I'm on the road now. And I just pulled off from the pretty much the, the office I was at where I got my shirt and my gloves and those things like that. So I'm going to a location right now to pick up an empty trailer. Two of them actually because I am pulling doubles now. And it's crazy because this location I'm going to, I think I try to apply for a FedEx job there, like working inside a warehouse. And I never got that FedEx job because at the time I, I had a felony on my record. Nothing too crazy, just, you know, small time stuff, but it was a felony. And I wasn't able to get that job. So now I think it's funny that I'm about to go there, not as a warehouse worker, but as a truck driver. You know, I think that's just life coming full circle, you know. I didn't get what I wanted when I wanted it, but I guess I'm getting it when I need it, is what I'm trying to say. So that's a good thing. I'll be happy to be there. <clears throat> so I've never hauled doubles before. So today I'll be actually hooking up doubles by myself. I did them when I was here for training, orientation I mean. Um, so that would be a cool experience hooking it up myself. So like I was saying before, um, how has it been so far first day? They told me that around uh, maybe 10 in the morning. They told me I'll dispatch tonight at 1 a.m. And, um, you know, they told me to get my truck. I went to the yard to get the truck. First, I went to the office, like I said, to check in with them. And then I went a little bit down, like, around the corner to pick up the truck. It turns out the truck wasn't there. I was told that the mechanic had it. So we went to the mechanic. It turns out that the truck was not even starting. It turns out that the bed was horrible. Seats were horrible. Just, it was... It was disgusting, really. It was like stains on the bed, stains on the seat. Just not a pretty sight, you know what I mean? Not to mention, it wouldn't start, so that was even a double whammy. But I'm glad it never started because if it did, we probably would have had to use that truck. I would have tried to protest, of course, saying, you know, I can't work in these conditions and rah, rah, rah. But you never had to come to that, so that's a good... That's the one good thing about it. Now, um, so we left that truck, went back to the FedEx yard, the FedEx yard, to try to pick up the another truck. And we were able to get an, another truck, and that's the one I got right now. So the whole process to get a truck for me, just because of the issues, took about an hour maybe an hour and a half because we had to go to the yard then look why like, we took a few laps around trying to find that truck and after not finding it we pretty much had to go to the mechanic and try to get it from there it wasn't there though so wasted our time over there too and just you know try to figure out what to do so we finally figured it out and we went back to the yard and got this truck and um, like I said, this one is much cleaner, much, much cleaner. And um, besides that, um, yeah, I mean, this, the seats are still stained with lots of dirt. So I figured I'd buy like a seat cover or something. I just want to feel comfortable sitting on the seat. And uh, also, um, I basically want to buy a new mattress. The mattress doesn't look too bad, but, you know, coming from a different company, I'm used to having trucks that are like, you get a mattress that's brand new, you know? So I definitely want to buy myself a new mattress as well, just a really cheap one. 
you know, so I know it's clean. It's not no one else's felt on it. You know, just for peace of mind, really. So I want to do that. And, um, yeah, so we I got my login, some my login stuff. And now I'm going to get my badge, really. I'm not getting a, a single, um, a double yet. I'm getting a, a badge. Well, I'm getting a double here as well, but I'm getting a badge here. The badge I need to, like, say that I'm an employee and rah, rah, rah. So right now, y'all are seeing a FedEx location, actually. You see that truck coming in? That's a FedEx truck. And the gates are open. Love to see it. That girl is patting her head like crazy, boy. I tell you. go to get my, my ID. Well, I think I definitely made the wrong turn, tell you that much. I mean, I've only been here once, so it's not like it's, oh, I've been here too many times to know where to go. I think I can go around to here. But yeah, so this truck, you know, is not bad. Um... The steering wheel seems to be a little wonky. It doesn't feel loose, so I would prefer it to not feel loose, which it doesn't. But it, I think it does pull to the right a little bit. I can't tell for sure yet. I haven't driven it, you know, on a straight enough path to really let go of the wheel and see. But from what I've seen, I don't think it does go um, straight. I think it has a, a right pull. Oh, you know, that can be annoying at certain circumstances, but like I said, I'd rather do that than, you know, have a nasty, loose feeling, you know? That's a definitely, definitely a no-no. I would hate that. Now, I do remember passing this stuff when I was here for training. I actually stopped the truck right over here. So I remember this part. Now, if I could, I'm gonna just gonna go around and go in that building right there I just saw. That beeping noise. What are they mine? What are they mine? Yeah, I definitely came to hear it. I remember that. What are they mine? What are they mine? I got this little song, boy. Got this little like death. So I should buy that mask. Wait, my boy. Let me just pull over right here and try to see what they're talking about. I would bring the camera in there, but now I do that right now. Is he in? All right, guys, so I'm not sure what happened, but the video wasn't recording the, the sound, so I'll go ahead and do a voiceover. So I left line hall, and I asked them, what am I supposed to do? It's my first time here. And they looked in their system and told me that I had to get two empty trailers. And this low key is the start of where everything went downhill, but we're going to get to that part later. So it's my first time here, and I'm just trying to find these these uh, trailers. I have no idea where they are, so I'm going around this yard uh, because I vaguely recall where they were, but I wasn't just 100% sure. So as I'm turning this corner here, I actually saw a guy. I figured I'll stop and ask him where can I find these um, trailers at, and he was able to tell me. 
So what he told me was to head around this corner here and I'll see maintenance. Once I get there, that's pretty much where I'll find the empty trailers at. So I pretty much go around the corner and I did see maintenance, but it wasn't the right area. I was in the section where they actually fix trailers. What I needed was empty trailers. So it took me a little minute. I just went around until I did see the, the empty trailers. So you see that right here. So here we go, maintenance is right here. And like I said, I went to the wrong part. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually where they fixed the trailers at. So all these trailers right here, they're all broken or something's wrong with them. So they're there to get fixed up. But all I gotta do is just go around and I'll be able to, well, let's see here. So right now I'm probably just lost thinking are these the right trailers and I don't see FedEx on them I see uh, PAT so I know something's wrong and then as I look at them I see that they have like red red um, stickers on them saying something's wrong with it pretty much so I thought these were the trailers but these are 53 footers I need the smaller ones I think they're 23 feet I think I'm not sure but so I see some over here once again, they all have like a red sticker on them, so you know something's wrong. So I just keep on going around in a full circle. And then see some more trailers with red stickers. And right around this corner here, I make a right and then I make a left. And finally, the trailers that I want, the empty trailers. They have no red stickers on them. They're all the right size. So I pretty much part the truck and I get ready to hook up to it. And that's when I realize I made a mistake and things go way downhill from here. So basically what happened is I get to the spot, park the truck, and I'm about to hook it up and I realize I'm doing double trailers, so that means I'm going to need to hook it up with the dolly. Now like I said, the only problem is, it's my first time here, so I have no idea where nothing is, but I turn around I'm trying to find one, um, and basically for you guys that don't know, the thing I'm looking for, it basically connects two double trailers. You see those those small trailers there? You put one in front, dolly in the middle, and another trailer in the back. And then you hook it all up onto your truck, and then you just you know, drive off. So I'm basically just looking for a dolly right now. And I know they keep them in a certain area. I just wasn't sure where. So I'm pulling out, and I make a right turn thinking maybe I'll find them over there um, but basically I made that turn and I realized I just left that area I don't think I saw a dolly location over there so instead of making that right turn I turn around and make a left instead and um, I think I recall somebody telling me something about the fuel lodge because FedEx has their own fueling station and eventually I do find that fuel lodge and I figured I might as well fuel up while I was there and there you go dolly station is right there and this is where everything went downhill guys so like I said before when you're doing doubles you got to put the lightest trailer in the back dolly in the middle heaviest trailer in the front now the problem with me is I never had any training, I never had anyone there to help me. It took me over six hours to do this guys. I had to call the job to get help. Guys, it was basically my worst experience of driving. Something that should have taken me 45 minutes took me six hours. I was just fed up, embarrassed, and ready to go home. And I actually ended up quitting this job after about 
two weeks, I think. And I'll, I work for a new company now, guys. So like, comment, and subscribe. I'll let you guys know what happened and more.